Welcome to another video of capital budgeting. In this video, we'll look at the concept of accounting rate of return, also known as ARR in short. Accounting rate of return is another method used to evaluate projects for inclusion in capital budgets. This method does not consider the time value of money and is also sometimes known as return on investment ROI or average rate of return also ARR method. Now this method uses the accounting information as revealed by the financial statements in order to measure the profitability of an investment instead of the cash flows. So all the other methods which we have seen for capital budgeting used cash flows for measuring profitability. However, this method uses the accounting information as revealed by the financial statements. So the accounting rate of return is the ratio of the average after tax income divided by the average investment. So ARR is equal to average income, this is generally the PAT profit after tax divided by average investment. Now some people also use initial investment instead of average investment. Now let us consider an example to understand this method. So the example is as shown here in red. Determine the ARR from the following data of a machine. So basically we have a machine which is going to cost us 56,125 rupees. Now the annual estimated income after depreciation and income tax has been given to us for the next five years. So this is the additional income that is going to be generated because of this machine. So for year one, the cash inflow will be 3,375 rupees. For year two, the cash inflow will be 5,375 rupees. For year three, the cash inflow will be 7,375 rupees. Year 4, 9,375 and year 5, 11,375. So the total of the cash inflows for the 5 years is 36,875 rupees. Now it is expected that this machine can be used only for 5 years after which it will be sold as scrap and when it is sold as scrap the estimated amount or the salvage value is 3000 rupees now we know that arr is equal to the average income divided by the average investment now let's first determine the average income now we have been given the income for the five years during which the machine is going to be useful. Now in order to find the average income we have to find the average of that income. So average will be the addition of all those incomes for the five years divided by five. So we know that the total 
income is equal to 36875. Now this is the income after taxes and depreciation and the average income will be 36875 divided by 5 because this is the total for 5 years of income. So the average income comes out to be 7375 rupees. Now we need to find the average investment. So we have been given that the cost at the beginning of the life of the machine is 56,125 rupees and after five years the scrap value or the salvage value of the machine becomes 3000 rupees. So the average investment in terms of this can be found out by finding the depreciable value of the machine and taking the average of it that is taking half of it. So the depreciable value is 56,125 minus 3000. So the depreciable value is equal to 56125 minus 3000. So this becomes 53125 rupees. Now half of this is half into 53125. So this becomes 26562.5. Rupees. So this is the average of the depreciable value. However, this 3000 rupees which is being recovered at the end of 5 years is also tied up at the beginning of the tenure for the machine because we are buying this machine for the entire investment. So this 3000 rupees is also locked up. So the average investment should be half into initial cost of machine minus salvage value plus the salvage value. So we have already found out this portion which is 26,562.5 rupees. Now we have to add salvage value to this. So the average investment becomes 26562.5 plus 3000 which is equal to 29562.5 rupees. So we have the average income, we have the average investment. So ARR becomes 7375 divided by 29562.5 which is equal to 0. 24947 or 24.947%. Now a lot of times you will find that the average investment is written as half into initial cost of machine plus salvage value. Now how is that achieved? So basically if you open up this bracket you will get 
half into initial cost minus half into salvage value plus salvage value. So this becomes now salvage value minus half salvage value. So this becomes plus half salvage value. So half into initial cost plus half into salvage value. So if you take half common, you get initial cost plus salvage value. So in principle, these two are the same things. Whichever you find easier to remember, you can use that. So this is one way of finding ARR. There are multiple ways in which people interpret how to find ARR.